Welcome back, YouTubers. Well, as you can see, I'm in the middle of a project, as always. And uh, as it always works out, this is a project to fix something that I was going to build something for that I was going to use to fix another project that transpired because we needed to fix the sewer line. So, it never fails, you know. When you really need to get something done, nothing works right. So, story is, we, we've been having issues with the sewer line for years, tree roots encroaching. Um, it had been scabbed on too many times. It was about four different types of sewer line, the worst being the old uh, pitch, tar, and paper wrapped line. And it was to the point where it just had to be replaced. And I finally got a uh, track hoe in here. We got it dug out last night, partially reburied, and of course it poured down rain last night. So now it's a muddy mess. And I think the guy is going to come and pick up his track hoe, and I'm going to have to do a lot of the final smoothing myself, which that's okay. You know, I told him that was, he, he put me to the top of the line because I helped him out, and I appreciate that. But it looks like I'm going to have to do a lot of the final smoothing myself. So. I went to get out the old wheel horse B100 garden tractor, which is a pulling beast, but she hadn't been started since probably last summer, and uh, the battery was shot, of course, and I put the jump pack on and cranked it over quite a bit, trying to get the fuel back up to the carburetor, and then the starter said, uh-uh. So, you know, we got to take the starter off. Well, I take the starter apart, and what happens is this cap was stuck. I tapped, and, you know, like an idiot, I didn't have it over something nice and clean, and the cap fell off, and the springs flew everywhere. Well, these springs are stainless steel, and they barely stick to a magnet. And, of course, the cap hit the work surface that I was working on, bounced fumbled and rolled around in the leaves okay that's on me but the point is um, I lost one of the springs was only able to find one and parts for these old lawnmowers is getting harder and harder to find I made a trip up to my uncle's house and he has a garage full of this old stuff and he didn't have one so I'm just going to show you a real simple little hack now that I've talked your ear off this is the original spring, okay? This is going to be the replacement spring. And this is a finer spring, but it's a longer spring. And when you actually compress it down to the height of this spring, you have about the same uh, compression. You have about the same force, the tension. And where I got this spring was out of that old Sawzall right there. Still runs great, but the end that holds the blade on broke off. Like the end of the shaft, the metal part just broke off. It was one of those quick detach suckers. But anyway, I want to show you. That fits right down in there. I'm just going to have to get it pushed down in with the... Uh, brush and everything and I may have to trim it just a hair but the old sawzaws that have a brush cap like that will have a spring in there like this and uh, it'll actually be captured between the end of the brush and a little brass plate with a copper wire going between them and I just cut the copper wire took this out the other place you can find springs like this is old skill saws old drills um, old jigsaws, anything that basically has an aluminum case, you can pr find springs like this. So, you know, just a just a short little hack here. Um, if you can't find a spring and you don't have time or you don't have the availability to run to town because the stores are closed or whatever, there are other ways to find this stuff. So I'm going to get this dude put back together and try to get this project done so that I can build a blade to put on the back of the lawnmower so that I can get over and start smoothing out all the dirt 
Anyway, that's just the way it goes, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this saves you some time and hassle when you've got a project that just needs to get done. See you later.